Yeah. <laughs> Thank goodness no, you know, I've been listening to you all day. <laughs> Where's our song? I had a nice hand picked out for the bus. Yeah, well, feel free to grab that mic, bro. Yeah, take huh? it. Take the mic. We'll, we'll listen to the concert that Barry. Not a solo. Phoenician fisherman village here. Not much. Herod the Great King knocked it down. Build the city. Here is the wall of Herod City. Here is the harbor aqueduct theater amphitheater and another amphitheater over there very big. Everybody have a, a view of the theatre. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm.
going to be the high priest, I run the country, meaning I have the king. And the old man said yes, because king had a great king, uh, actually killed all the males in the family, one after another. Nice guy! Elijah. Mm -hmm. Wait a second, where is my agent, Jason? He's in the back. Oh, yeah. 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 for a bit. Priceless. He was getting everybody off the boats. In, to English. And then Elijah the prophet rise like fire and his speech like a burning torch. Okay, one. And the other one. And the fire of God landed and it will. It it can be sacrificed, the wood and the stones. Now, Elijah connects to the fire. He is the one that Elijah is the spirit giver. So between the two, and Jesus received the blessing of the two of them. Uh, it's not for nothing that Elijah is an important figure from a Christian perspective as well as Moses. But here Elijah is really, he is the man. He is the one that called God and God, I don't want to say follow but cooperative please. Okay, that will probably will be a better word but you can see how basically Elijah tell the people what's going to happen and it happened and the whole story is to show us that God win God win it's not Elijah that win never mind what the what the kingdom and the queen thought about it. it it's not Elijah, it's God winning. And that's what we need to do. Not so much Ray Elijah. Yes, Elijah. But God that actually tell his people. Thank you. 
we have Old Testament story that's by everyone and is it the site of the transfiguration or no? It's a different story. And I'm not going to go into whether the uh, in, in a site like that it's the Catholics or the Protestants. You have your fight. I don't need to fight for you. Questions before we go, which is very important, but. The real important part is, in peacetime, the gatehouse. Right now, the sun is there, so the shade will be on this side. And, uh, no offense, huh? A bunch of old people. I, I don't like the original, because original of what? But that was being found as part of the pavement from the Canaanite time, and then they filled it up with cement, so it will be easier for us to get. Okay. While what you see to the right and to the left, it is right. 900 chariots, it's a lot. 900 chariots, each chariot have at least two, most time three people. Okay, one riding and two fighting. Let's assume it's three. Three times nine, seven. Plus wives, at least one, sometimes two, <laughs> plus four, five, six children. Look over there. This is this basalt, lava stones. This is another entrance. Not connected to any one of the entrances that we've mentioned. So, if you understand, we have about 20 different gate systems here. We, we see maybe three, four. <laughs> Iron here.
So this is the Temple of Pan at Cesare Felipe. Great. That was the king of this area. We built the city that destroyed him, one of the earthquakes that we've mentioned. And when he finished with the restoration, he built a temple to Pan. And then he built a temple to a new god, Augustus, Caesar. And then a temple to Zeus. And then a temple to Nemesis, which was an Egyptian goddess. Okay, we just read it. And I want you to put it physically on the inside over the outside of the city. Where is the temple of this pagan's temple in their view? So oh. we use to school to study to know basic work. Come and help me with my work. And you need to be trained to be efficient. So Jesus would have walked here. So this is the Mount of Beatitude, Sermon on the Mount.
Framing shot. Yes. This is the Sea of Galilee. The Sea of Galilee basalts. Thank you. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah. So the house that's underneath that is Peter's mother-in-law's house, they think. And the reason they picked it was I had mass in it before, so it had gone up into the church and went down. And you can see the fishing hook. So the fourth century. I'm listening, but I'm also like processing. So then oh, yeah, you yeah. gotta I, catch up to the new details. Oh, because it belongs to a 